Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Espoli, and I have chosen to have my service quilt represented by all of the components in a makeup case. So as you can see, I have all the different kinds of makeup represented by uh, my nine words on my service quilt. And my service philosophy is that service should be pretty. Effortless, seamless, flawless. Always put your best face forward in order to deliver sound, energetic service, upholding skillfulness, professionalism, and expertise in your given area. Remain intuitive to your guests or customers' needs and always be willing to accommodate by going that extra mile. Never be afraid to step outside of your own comfort zone for the benefit of others. Allow yourself to be flexible. Cooperate with those around you and get the job done with grace and ease. Always gather all of the facts and seek out the knowledge in any given situation to come out on top. Honesty is always the greatest policy so that your customers can easily trust you and want nothing more than to work with you. Lastly, and quite simply put, just be sweet. A positive attitude draws people to you. Exude the level of confidence that you expect from others in a professional working environment and showing initiative and drive. The level of service you provide is a mirror image of your inner beauty and peace. So as you can see, I have that placed over the mirror. So my not so service philosophy statement is uh, constantly withdrawing inward and keeping disgruntled feelings bottled up will not only reflect on you, but will be evident, evident to your guests and those around you. Cutting off opportunity in order to develop a useful skill set and limiting one's own potential will only hurt you in the end. Lack of knowledge and unsurety will confuse guests into thinking you do not know what you're doing and in turn will stifle growth in the workplace. Okay, as for the individual pieces, um, my first, the first part of my service quilt is attitude. Putting your best face on in a positive attitude draws people to you both on the floor and off. Sometimes that's not always easy, but strive to maintain the same level of confidence that you expect to see in any other workplace. All right, and the second one is spirit. Displaying good sound energy helps, keep, helps the guests to feel at ease as well as your coworkers. It creates balance in the face of indifference when confronted with a complication, allowing your spirit to shine through can easily bring an escalating emotion back to an even playing field. And that's spirit. Okay, then we have knowledge. Knowledge, it's power, people. As service providers, it is of the utmost importance for us to gather all of the facts before rushing into any situation. Take a step back and educate yourself on the issue at hand. This will prevent any embarrassment on behalf of yourself, your staff, and of course, the customer. Okay, and the next one is flexibility. Allow yourself to be flexible. We are all guilty of going by the book and sticking to what we know because it's comfortable. But not every problem fits inside a box. Step outside of your comfort zone every once in a while for the benefit of others. Never be afraid to take a chance because it just might work in everyone's favor. All right. And the next one, I can't really see that flipped over, is cooperation. Cooperation is getting the job done with grace and ease. Working together with your service family to effortlessly solve problems. Teamwork is the gel that holds the work atmosphere together. Which brings me to the gel. <laughs> uh, the next word is empathy. The power of understanding and imaginatively entering into another person's feelings. 
As service providers, it is our duty to put ourselves in the customer's shoes and attempt to fully understand the situation in its entirety, providing some form of resolution so that both parties can walk away happy is very important. Okay, and the next one is accommodate. Always remaining intuitive to the guest's needs and always be willing to go that extra step. We are in the business of making memories, and why not do everything in our power to make those memories the best they can be? Sometimes it's the simplest things that will make a guest or customer feel special and taken care of. All right, the next one is professionalism. Upholding a high level of standards, expertise, and skillfulness. This is a head-to-toe portrayal of excellence, carrying out each act with maturity and style. This helps the guests to feel secure in coming to you with any and all inquiries and issues, creating great favor in the eyes of everyone around you. And then lastly, and most importantly, trust, which honesty is always the best policy in all facets of life, service and relationships. Without trust, there is instability in the workplace. By building a lasting rapport with your clients or guests, you will create a bond that will transcend negativity and complications. Trust is the foundation to a healthy service environment. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my service quilt. So put all this away. I'm going to close this up. As you can see, it says, Amanda's service quilt, because service should be what? Pretty.